Hello it's Jay here and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson we're continuing on with the audio and here's where we'd left off. We already had a block of code in each weather state that resets to the correct audio clip. But this is all based on when the volume for the previous clip reaches zero. So in this lesson we're going to work on reducing and raising the volume. So first things first, I'm going to come in sunny weather and I'm just going to come above that block of code we did last time. And I'm going to say if, open brackets, get component, and the component we want is the audio source, we'll close brackets, we'll open and close, and we'll say dot volume and we'll say if it's greater than zero we want two ands so if it's greater than zero and and again we'll get component we'll get the audio source close brackets we'll open and close again dot clip and we'll say does not equals the sunny audio and we'll close brackets there and we'll also say get component again audio source close brackets we'll open and close dot volume and we're going to say minus equals time dot delta time times our audio fade time. And we can close the line off there. And I'm actually just going to enter here as well. So I'm breaking this single line and just spreading it over two just to make commenting it a lot easier. So we'll go through this while we put in the comments. So we'll say, if the volume is greater than zero, and we'll come to the next line, and it does not equal, in fact, I'm going to say correct, audio clip and for this line we will say then reduce volume by the audio fade time So let's go through this again. We're checking to see if the volume is greater than zero. So if it's changed from a different state, let's say thunder, it's still playing the thunder weather clip. That clip volume is greater than zero. We're checking to make sure that it is a different audio clip than the correct one for sunny weather. Then we want to reduce the audio, the volume for it. And then once it reaches zero, this is when this block becomes active. And then we stop that clip. We set that clip to the correct audio clip. We set it to loop and we set it to play. And then all we need to do is actually just increase the audio. And we'll actually just copy this block. And we'll just swap out what needs to be swapped out. So in this case, we'll say less than one, and we'll change the comment, so we'll say less than one, and here we'll have double equals, so this time now it equals the correct clip, and we'll just delete the not in the comment so it does equal the correct audio clip and then all we want to do is come here 
and this time we just want to add a plus. So we then increase volume by our audio fade time. So let's go through this all. If the volume is greater than zero, the previous audio clip is playing, reduce the volume. Once the volume equals zero, stop, set to the correct audio, set it to loop and to play, and then increase the volume until we get to the value of one, which is normally the default value within Unity. And this will now give us a smooth fade in and fade out of our audio clips as the weather state changes. And I'm sure you've guessed, we're just going to copy both these blocks and we'll just paste them in to the next one. And this one here. And again, below the previous block we did. And we'll just change out the variable. So this time we want thunderstorm audio. And here. And again, you can go through and tidy up your comments at a later date. And then we'll copy it again. And again here. into the mist and again we'll just keep swapping out the comments or the variables should I say here and here uh, we just need to keep going through twice more And again, we'll swap it out to the overcast audio. And the same here. And just one more time. So we'll copy. And we'll paste. And finally we'll swap the variable for the last time here for the snow audio and we can save that off there now you can go through and tidy this up and bring your comments back into line I'll do that off camera I don't think you uh, need to see me do that and would make for a much longer and boring video but um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions regarding any audio or anything else to do with this series you know please leave a comment in the section below and I'll always try my best to answer any questions you may have but hopefully this all makes complete sense now and I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now